What's going on, y'all? It's me, Erica. What's up? It's Wednesday, the 13th, middle of the week, 13th day of March. What's going on with you guys? Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know you stopped by. If it's just a quick, hey, Erica, I'm here. I'm on, I'm on the scene. Um, today, we just going to talk about mediocre white kids, parents who pay and bribe their way into college. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. I got my notes. I got my goddamn notes. All I wrote is mediocrity rises <laughs> at the top. Baby, William Singer, he's a motherfucker, ain't he? He had an operation. He had a business going, taking these rich people's money to get their they dumb ass kids in school. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is really not funny. It's really sad. It's really sad because you already have money. Like, that's how you know. Let me tell you something. That's how you know your kid is dumb. When you can, they can't even get into school on their own merit. You got to not one, not use your not use your own money but to bribe his way or her way into school. To get into school, bribe and lie and fraud, honey. Let me see, Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin. Now, y'all know who they are. William H. Macy is married to Felicity Huffman and, and Huffman and what's his name? Massimo, who made the best t-shirts at Target. He should bring them back. Maybe y'all wouldn't have to cheat and lie your way through college admissions if you kept your goddamn t-shirts at Target, Massimo. God damn it. So, they paying on the, they had a sting operation, honey, called it Varsity Blues. I wish they would have came up with a better name, but Varsity Blues, okay, that's fine. Play on the movie. Dumb jocks. Varsity Blues was really, wasn't that with um Anthony Michael Hall? I felt like it was like, uh, come on, what are you doing? Are you going to get off the freeway? It must be an accident up here. Because why is everybody backing up? I'm wondering why you driving backwards. While I'm trying to go this way. With your slow ass. These motherfuckers drive so damn slow. Let me get over. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why so much traffic this morning. Anyway, so Felicity Hoffman, Huffman and her husband... Who is also named in the suit? Massimo's named in the suit. She already been arrested. Ain't that something? And I was like, why? Why do they only name them two? I guess they are the ones with the most recognizable names. But I'm like, no. I want to know the names of the CEOs who ain't paying the letting their kids get into school on their own marriage, buying their education. Here's the thing. Bribing people. Like, do you know how many people in the in the in the cities in the urban areas who get arrested for trying to change their address so their child can go to a better school i mean people getting arrested like we see it a, a few times a year some mom who wants a better education for her child lies about where she lives First of all, let's talk about college being free. That's, I mean, like, we could talk about that. But let's talk about Operation Varsity Blues. I'm trying to wait until I get off the highway. Um, and we can talk about the facts of the sting operation, honey. This man, he was, he was, I, I, I mean, he had a full-blown operation going. I'm trying to figure out, I want to know who tipped them off. Like, how did you figure this out? Because... This is not only about college admissions. This is not about, I mean, it's not just about these parents paying for their mediocre children to go to college. But it's also about college admissions. What Are y'all not really checking these things? So we, all this whole fucking time, these kids could have been lying because you are looking, I mean, staged pictures. That's what I said. Well, at first I was like, okay, so... What's wrong with college admissions? Are they not going and looking at these social media accounts of these kids to see, are you really in crew? But no, your your mom and daddy, they didn't, they didn't, they got a goddamn set up with you and some, and, and photoshopping your pictures, faking and staging pictures, the level, 
the level of deception is just it's amazing because at first before the man was on the um giving the press conference the guy the little law enforcement guy he was giving the little press conference and i said to myself how can the, how, how can you say that you're in us on a team an athletic team and there be no pictures there's no pictures. There's no pictures of your mom. There's no pictures of you and your mom and your friends posing, trophies, at a game. Like, uh, and then the man said they even went as far as to stage the pictures. I said, oh, because they got money. They could do that. You can. They can do that. I, I couldn't believe it. So Ivy League bribery scheme. Lori Laughlin, Felicity Huffman, and Massimo. Rich and famous stealing from qualified, qualified children young adults who work hard to get accepted into these schools and the schools and, and then the athletic coaches taking bribes like all of y'all gotta go and every student who has been admitted on any of these you you have to come out of school you can't you can't go to the school <laughs> you got to go you got to go you here on a bribe y'all lying on test scores or having people take the test for you or change your answers god i just can't believe it i can believe it but then you get these black and brown kids going to these schools who get harassed on a daily about affirmative action. Oh, you only in here so they can meet the quota. Nigga, your, your, all of your, the places that are being taken by qualified kids, by qualified white kids, Felicity Huffman, Lori, Lori Laughlin, CEOs, real estate moguls. What else did they say? Global law firms, fashion industry, wealth and privilege. They're buying, not, not the kids who work, actually work hard and who you blame affirmative action for their position in this school. The, your white mediocre counterparts are taking the places of qualified students. That's not right. I can't believe that. I was just like, what? what and this man said lies about test scores bribing coaches um they have the, the 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 charges have been filed by the u.s attorney district of massachusetts 29 other people i want to know who these other people are because if felicity huffman and Lori laughlin can be their names blasted and embarrassed they already been arrested. You need to be. And your children needs to be expelled. I'm tap, tapping him on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Can you come with us? <laughs> Can you come with us? Your college experience is going to be cut short, honey. And you're going to actually have to take these tests. Let them do everything they need to do in order to get into college on their own merits without their parents knowing that their kids is like i can't even my kid is that fucked up or just making sure that they get in it doesn't matter it could be smart but i'm not i you're lying about your child being on an athletic team creating documents to show and then they said for the SAT, for the for the uh, for the test for the SATs, they had the parents go get medical forms from the doctor, saying that their child has some type of learning disability, so they need to test longer, so they keep the kid in the class longer and change their scores and give them the answers and change their scores. Like whoever this man is, first of all he's smart as fuck because who else, I mean you go directly to who you don't want your kid you want your kid to get into what UCLA you want your kid to get into what Yale you want them to get into Yale I got a way they can get into Yale you don't have to worry about nothing all you got to do is pay me a half a million dollars go 
to this damn source. He, he was smart. I'm sorry. He was fucking smart. He was smart. Because you're taking rich people's money and knowing what they'll do to get their kids into college. They'll do whatever it takes to get their dumbass kids into college. When the man said, they even went as far as to stage pictures, because I had just asked that question. Like, how the fuck did nobody check this? But if you go as far as to stage a picture, you can create a whole little social media account. And all the pictures be fake. Google images. A, a Photoshop on, 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 on fake images. Just like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Um... Let's see. Bribe uh, exam ad administrators, athletic coaches. Felicity Huffman paid $15,000 for SAT scores. It came out to fourteen twenty. She only did it once. She didn't want to do it for the other kids. She probably felt guilty. You know, because I can't even imagine, like, you paying somebody to lie so that your kid can get into school. Because you know, one, that you need a ed, a great education in a capitalist society because they make it they make it because you they make it seem like you need these things in order to succeed in this country so if you if you have the opportunity not that you can already pay for their school like you could have them go to school and you could pay for their school but you you I, I just can't believe the lies like the extent of the lies as well that's that's the crazy part funneled through a charity my nigga um let's see and then Lori Laughlin or Lori what's her name Lori Laughlin Uncle Jesse's wife Five hundred thousand for two kids, recruits for 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 crew, and they didn't even play, like, and crew like what a what a fucking sport to be involved with that. that like, how can you verify that? And like, that's what I'm saying. It's not only the parents; it's the admissions. Like, are y'all verifying all this shit? Because if these motherfuckers could be lying this whole time on their college admissions applications, like what? Are you serious? Um, Wake Forest, Georgetown, Harvard was named initially, but they said Harvard wasn't involved. Harvard's like, honey, we ain't involved. Don't don't put our name in that shit. Yale and some other schools. There was a lot of other schools. I had, I had a screenshot. I took a screenshot of other schools. These are the, the other other schools that are involved in this. Black kids harassed for affirmative action in in, in colleges. You're only here to meet a quota. Well, you're only here because your mama bribed a motherfucker. You ain't in here on your own. Goddamn man, I worked hard. I can't believe it. You know how much, how, how, what kids got to go through. Black kids, especially in these Ivy League schools. First of all, why? One. Number two, just like Big uh, Killer Mike said, we put our kids in hostile racial situations and believe they're getting a better education and they end up being harassed all the time you saw Ioki Lee Simmons she talking about somebody at school keeps calling her a nigger and nobody has done anything about it so your child has this 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 wonderful education at what expense the expense of what okay whatever we're not gonna get into that it's the rich white kids taking your 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 spots from you Stage photos, faith, falsing mental health records so they can have extra time on their SAT scores, defrauding college admission systems. I just find it amazing. I find it absolutely amazing. CEOs, real estate moguls, fashion icons, global law firms, um, every, they had spent anywhere from 100000 to $6.5 million dollars what school did that motherfucker go to what school and he said and then most of the transactions range from 250,000 to 400,000 they said they not it's not a separate that man said 
it's not a separate school system and it's not going to be a separate criminal system for the wealth wealthy and privileged yeah get your ass from behind me i hope you hit somebody you stupid bitch <laughs> you that fuck you i don't care you can flip your little fat white fingers i don't care <laughs> you mad what you mad about girl i don't give a fuck today is not the day i don't give a fuck the other day other, another day i'll be on his tail i don't give a fuck you can flip your damn finger out the window at me motherfucker i don't care i'm having a good time this morning i'm <laughs> talking about these mediocre white kids and their parents already being able still fucking the system that's how the rich stay rich Yeah, and then you bragging, oh, my kid, my kid is in Harvard. My kid went to Harvard. My kid went to Yale. Yeah, you paid for him to get in there. Like, why wouldn't you just let them get in there on their own merit? Because you know that they can't. So you might as well bribe their way into school. Like, what does that do? You're. It's like this false idea. And then are they staying in school? Like, what's going on? They All of them have to be expelled. All of you guys got to go and you cannot come back to the school. And as a matter of fact, any any school affiliated in our little area, you cannot go back to that school. You can't go to any school. I don't know. I don't even know if I was a... a you're going to have to go to a community college. <laughs> Felicity Huffman's child. Y'all going to have to... Lori Laughlin, your two girls who lied about being in crew, y'all going to have to go down to the... Down to the um, local college down to the city college they just as good let them work let them do their little general st <laughs> little general studies <laughs> and then try on their own merit to get into one of these schools you lying saying you in crew you got a whole damn instagram page you got a whole damn instagram page what that's not right and it's and, and and you know how many people get arrested like for real like on some real shit and I don't like to you know how we don't like to do the comparisons but in terms of because the other day I said that I believe in terms of reparations that it should be federal tax free like black folks should not pay federal taxes i believe that they should have a six-year education a college education um and then also no property tax and that's it and all this all this handing people checks that don't work that does not work you cannot hand nobody a check don't if that doesn't work i'm going to give you the money for in your in your your taxes that's where the money your tax 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 you'll be able to save money you'll be able to have more access to money when you don't pay the taxes on your property because you're people in, in terms of reparations and you will not have to pay a uh, federal taxes you'll be fine you'll be fine so you got these parents like and then you got these kids that really work really really hard like the extracurricular activities all of this stuff to get into these schools and then you got rich white kids who didn't do nothing that they said they did on their application completely lied and, and it's because their parents were able to buy their way into the school bribe commit fraud now I don't want to hear it. Oh, I just want to make sure my kids get an education. Woe is me. No, you have the money and the means to do that. You don't, you don't have, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. You couldn't let, allow, make your kid work hard. That's why people like Trump exist. People like Meghan McCain exist. They don't have to work for nothing. Everything is just handed to them. And so there's this sense of entitlement because your privilege has allowed you to be mediocre, mediocre at best.
and cause your mom paid 500,000 and y'all lie like how do you feel like how do you feel like you, you, you're up in here in this school and you didn't do anything to get in here and you sit next to a person and you prob and you're and you're probably talking shit to them about getting in on affirmative action you probably the main your, your motherfucking asses are probably the main ones giving black and brown kids shit about affirmative action and your mom then paid a half a million dollars for you to go to to get into the school you didn't lie on your test scores and everything y'all going to jail going to jail <laughs> y'all going to jail we calling the cops felicity huffman got arrested Lori lofman got arrested i want to know the other people named i want to know i want to know i don't know i just don't want to know about the hollywood i want to know about the ceo i want to know about the fashion industry person i want to know about the real estate mogul i want to know who all those other people are i want to know because it's not right it's not fair to call out the two, two women and that's it i want to know everybody i want to know everybody everybody's name here the list of the people who pay for the kids tap their de goddamn kids on their shoulder and get them the fuck out and give somebody else whoever the fuck was on a waiting list on a goddamn waiting list to get into these goddamn schools and somebody them pay they got there that's a, I, now i got mad that's crazy you know how many people try to get their kids into great schools and they can't and they had their kids working so hard writing for grants and shit like that or even going into debt just to get an education in this society to go into debt graduate from school to be in debt and then can't even get a job in their degree and they in debt so they got to go to a job that they really don't want to fucking go to but they got to pay these goddamn tuition uh fucking loans these school loans that's not right that's not right that's not right and you on a free got a, a complete free ride instead of your mom just making you work hard like but again again that's how rich people do things you wonder how these kids get into these schools that's how that's happening your your dumb ass is doing your dumb ass and then and then the kids know this motherfucker how did you even get in here what are you doing are you like and then how are you going to keep it up while you're in school are you continuing to pay somebody to take tests and shit are you are they actually working like we can't even trust nothing that comes from you is this work real did you pay somebody because i'm sure if he's paying for people or he's he's charging people to help them get into college he definitely has people on the inside that they can you test you got to you got a paper you need paper done okay this paper is $2000 pay me $2000 I'll write your paper for you I'll get somebody to write your paper for you if they if they lying to get in school they lying all the way through I don't care you got to go you got to get out get out everybody who has been admitted to schools and are still there and we taking away if you've already graduated we taking that away from you <coughs> what that's not right and that man that was standing up there talking about he was and he was like yeah this is you think you think because you're rich and you wealthy that you can do i'm glad they caught them people i'm so glad they caught them people but i really want to know all the other people named if you want to name off two female white female celebrities you can name off the white male ceo the, the female real estate mogul i don't know what their genders are i'm just saying you can name them everybody else off too that's not right i don't think that's right just to name off two people and there's 29 other people you're just gonna name some two recognizable names no i want to know the name of the ceo they got pictures of their kids fake pictures y'all done rented a goddamn sound stage taking pictures and 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 getting shit off the internet using photoshop and shit y'all y'all ain't right what do y'all think do y'all think the kids should be taken out of school do you think the kids i think the kids should be taken out of school 
the coaches, every coach who took a bribe, fired. Ain't no leave, you fired, my nigga. You gotta go. You gotta go. You messing up our reputation. These schools have reputations that they would like to uphold. Yeah, and they, I'm sure they know it's kids in there that that don't are not supposed to be in there. I'm sure they know. But I'm now questioning college admission practices. I need to see from end to end what the how do y'all vet these these applications? How do y'all make sure that these things are real? Changing test scores. Amazing. saying you played for and played a sport you didn't play you don't know how to play so when it's time when it's time to actually i mean <laughs> what are you going to do when you get into school are you going to do the work you got to get out you got to go you got to go you can't be in the school i'm sorry your your parents messed it up for you and i don't want to hear oh i wanted my child to get a good education no you don't no you don't you be that, and they be the main ones. I make my kids work hard, lying, acting, sitting up there acting. My kids work hard to get into Yale. No, they didn't. You paid a motherfucker to take the SATs for them. You lied. You gotta go. All of y'all arrested. Mugshot. I want to see their mugshots. And I want to know. That's my main thing. I want to know the other people on this the goddamn Varsity Blues sting operation. I need to know. It's a lot of traffic this morning. What is the tea, honey? Henny. I'm going to go. Let me see. I'm going to go. But anyways, yeah, so what do y'all think? Do y'all think the kids should be taken out of the schools and everybody needs to be fired? William Singer. I need to see what he looks like. I didn't even go. I didn't even go look what he see. See what he looks like. But he was smart. He was smart. He was smart. I'm trying to. I want to know how. I, I'm sure that as a story gets developed or whatever. I only. I only got my facts from the man talking at the goddamn podium. I didn't want to read nothing else. I didn't want to see nothing else. I don't want to get no bias. Um, you know, point of view article about it but it's it's very true a lot of people were just upset about it online like you know just like the fact that other kids not just black kids but just other kids who actually just fucking work hard like period just kids who work hard to get into these goddamn schools and what your mama done paid a half a million dollars somebody six what what school did the 6.5 what what do you get for 6.5 million dollars in terms of college admissions and education was they uh, where, where were they in tibet like what the fuck is going on where were y'all where were y'all six i would like to know i have i i, I would like to see it <laughs> like that like, like that monique meme i would like to see it i want to see the whole list of everybody what do y'all think about uh operation varsity blues the ivy league bribery scam honey and let me tell y'all something you screenwriters screenwriters Get to work now so you can sell your screenplay about this because it's a lot. It's let me tell you, this is a movie, baby. I am, I can't wait. I can't wait to the movie. I can't wait. And who's gonna play Lori Laughlin and Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman and William H. Macy and, and Massimo Massimo Gurani? You need to bring them t shirts back to um Target. That's what he need to do. That the Massimo had the best t shirts from Target. You know, I always wear black. I, well, every time I go into Target, I pick up a black shirt. Boop, boop, boop. I was, I, you know, I'm Simon Cow to the shit. A black shirt, black shirt. Every time Massimo went through. And when they stopped making them damn Massimo shirts, I was so mad. So mad. Because they, they just held up well. That's just really great. A really great product. Should have should have sold. Should have got into daddy's business. You didn't even have to go to school. <laughs> That's some shit. Ain't that some shit? Anyways, y'all, I'm here. Um, let me know what y'all think. This is this is this is some real tea. This is some real tea. This ain't this ain't no. Oh my God, I'm uh, Kim Bella's pregnant and her niggas about to go to jail. That's a dumb move. Believe me, I know that. <laughs> Kim Bella's stupid ass. Anyway, um, y'all have a wonderful day. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.